AoE brain sap isn't too bad, just being able to survive that little bit longer in these fights. I like this smoke from Spirit. The lanes are in a really good position. They know the ultimates were used as well. Oh, look at Matthew's position. The only issue is is Matthew's positioning. Again, this Nyx Assassin. Oh, no. And this... Oh, Matthew! Matthew, what was that? A Foreman, Stun, and Thunder. They're going to capitalize on the initiation. That was beautiful. You couldn't have asked for much better. He blocked the smoke, gets the jump in onto four at a choke point, and now they can finish up the team fight as well as Collapse will not escape. A triple for Dark Margo. And it looks like the writing is on the wall. Thunder with the second Roche now. All the components given over. Let's take a look at that one again. Oh, beautiful. The Ravage coming through from the Impale there. Able to land onto four. And then even just then, you see Collapse. He's on the back line. He has the BKB popped as well. He's still very vulnerable to being caught out by that Fiend's Grip. Multiple ways to be able to pierce those BKBs right now on Thunder Awakened means that there's so much less value. Wondering, do they give the Aghanim Shard over to Pandamu? Surely you give it to Matthew. He deserves it after that one. And yeah, there we go. They hand it over. He's going to pop it for that little bit of extra magic resistance reduction. Not like he needs it, though. What do you do now? You tried to make a team fight work knowing that Thunder had all their ultimates on cooldown. And well, now you're all the team without the ultimates. Dark Ascension down for 50, and Thunder, they've got Black Hole up in a couple, in 10 seconds, so they're ready con to continue on. Yeah, 20 seconds away from the Fiend's Grip as well, so again, just really solid positioning coming out from Thunder. They've been able to bottle up a double damage as well for Dark Margo into the level 20 talent, extra electric vortex duration. So if he's able to find someone, if you're able to get the jump, I feel like Thunder Awaken, they're the style of team that want to go first. Oh, oh they know where Pango is and Bacars. A beautiful double chrono off to the right side. That's it, they've got to tap out. Thunder Awaken, what an incredible game of one. It just seems like there's no angle back in. Spirit will still try and hold this game, but Oh, Thunder have just looked so clean. They have. You give people their comfort, and this is what they're going to be able to deliver. You know, the Picard's Faceless Void, absolute top tier. Everyone, essentially, being able to play at their absolute pinnacle. And Collapse, he's going to need to get back to the base. They're hitting onto tier fours. He's got his level 16, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. The Basher, still not ready to be purchased up. Poshka gets the Tombstone down, but they'll instantly jump on top of him. Toronto Tokyo with a fall up as well, but the buildings are starting to fall. The it's zombies starting. are doing a lot of damage towards the Enigma. They'll kill off Sacred, but is that the only person they're going to be able to kill as they put themselves too far forward of the net worth deficit? They will not be able to get themselves back inside the base. They're too squishy as Thunder just blow them up one by one, and they're thrown. It'll eventually blow up. Collapse, he'll make the attempt. You've got your Toro back up in a couple of seconds, but the respawn will take too long. As Thunder, a very, very convincing game one victory from them. Yeah, starting out the day 0-2, but Thunder Awaken, they've woken up, and uh, they have done it in 